everyone. Tonight I want to talk about one of my favorite apps for, for uh, the Android device. It's called Xanti, and uh, unfortunately it has to be rooted in order to get the full benefit of it. But it is basically a network penetration suite. It's got all kinds of different tools in it. It allows you to do some pretty cool shit. Uh, the only limitation that it has is you have to be connected to the network that you want to explore. So, when you fire it up, you'll see these options here on the left. you got Mac Changer, Z Tether, Router Pond. I'm sure you can read. I'll let you read the rest of it. In the settings menu, you'll find what you see here. Wi-Fi settings, Wi-Fi policy, blah, 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 blah. Intrusive mode. That's where it gets a little interesting. I like to enable that every time. And then, normally you would run the Wi-Fi monitor. And it'll show you all the Wi-Fi networks that are nearby. And... This happens to be the one that I'm connected to. So, let's hit refresh, see what it comes up with. It gives me the option for an intrusive scan again. So we shall. It will sniff out every single device on your network and then give you the ability to, to, to attack the different devices in different ways. I'll show you some of those tools here shortly. It's got M map, N map built into it. Now, when you select a target, you'll see operative actions like scan. It allows you to, to perform an advanced scanning on your target. Then you got attack options like password, complexity audit, and man in the middle attack. It's, it's scanning automatically for us already, by the way, just in case you didn't know. So let's say we want to launch a password complexity audit. We have cracking method. You choose your dictionary, small, optimized, big, huge, or a custom dictionary. You can download a huge dictionary file if you want to and use it. Incremental, you can basically set it to uh, try every every possible combination of key if you like. And I like to usually set the automatic mode on if it will, sometimes it won't. And then you simply select the, pro the protocol that you want to attack and get to it. Sometimes it finds passwords really quick, relatively quickly, sometimes it does not. Then when you find a password, you can launch ConnectBot to either tailnet it, SSH it, or just connect to it locally. Let me try a different target because I know that's, that's not one that's going to find it on easily. Password complexity. Let's use the huge dictionary and it's set on automatic mode. Let's watch it work. Huh, got passwords already for the HTTP GET protocol and the HTTP SECURED GET protocol. So this is what you would do once you find the passwords that you're looking for. You just make that little symbol there and launch this ConnectBot. And you can play with this if you want to. I personally can't use ConnectBot very well because I can never get the type shit. I mean anything, sorry. But anyway. We'll move on to the next uh, target here. Let's get the hell out of there. Alright. Sorry, guys. Alright, aside from password complexity audit, you have man in the middle. This one's awesome. Turn this guy on, and it's going to make a log of all the requests to websites that go through that machine that you're monitoring. Also, you can log images looked at. The Z Packet Editor is interesting, interesting because it allows you to basically modify and craft packets to, that you can forge and send to browsers and stuff like that. You select your man in the middle method, ARP and ICMP. You have a lot more success out of ARP than ICMP, at least, at least in my experience. And by default, the SSL strip is going to be is going to be in effect. You can do some really fun things like uh, redirect HTTP, tra HTTP traffic replace images that the, the people using the machine that you're using or that you're monitoring. Uh, you can capture downloads on the machine that you're monitoring, intercept downloads, insert HTML. You can have all kinds of fun with that. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Let's see what we got going on. Oh, got all kinds of stuff going on. It shows you the IP address of the machine. And let's pick one here. It'll show you the session, passwords, if it, if it got any. It'll show you the request made. Let's, let's 
pick one at random. It'll show you the information that you see here. It'll show you the user agent. Oops. Sometimes it'll tell you if, if there's any vulnerabilities that are known for that for that particular user agent, and you, then you can make a request to use the Imperium network to launch attacks on it. Uh, let's see here. Link to Samsung. Whoops. Excuse me. Sorry for that, guys. No passwords there. Requests. You can look at all the different stuff you got going on. There's get request, post request. Let's pick one at random. Wow, look at all that information. Holy be Jesus. What else can we play with here? We've got, oh, there's also the shell shock and the SSL Poodle plugins. You can check for the shell shock vulnerability as well as the Poodle. When you run this on a very large Wi-Fi network, say at like Walmart or something on the on the on the free uh, the free Wi-Fi they have there, you find all kinds of interesting things. And let's say you want a lot of a lot of hits on your YouTube channel, you can redirect the HTTP HTTP traffic through their router to get anybody who tries to log on to a web page is going to be taken to your YouTube page, therefore getting you a hit. That's just one potential use. SSL poodles, check that out. See if there's any vulnerabilities there. Which I know there's not going to be, so I'm just going to abandon that now. You can look at the end map scans to see the specific information garnered that way. It'll tell you which ports are open, which protocols are in use for the port. That way you can decide which method of attack that you would like to take. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Mac changer that comes in handy sometimes you, you can't you won't be able to do it on all devices but you can you can do it on some some devices I'll try it here and see what happens don't think it's gonna work on my phone that's handy for Mac spoofing in case you didn't didn't know anyway I don't care if it really changes it or not I just wanted to show you how it's done router pawn it will take you to the router pawn website and it will give you well should have anyway Maybe that Mac changer did work. <laughs> anyway, it takes you to the router pond website, which shows you the list of all known routers and all known exploits for those routers. Z Tether, I'm not going to talk too much about it. I don't really know a whole lot about that. HTTP server. Launch that and turn it on. Set your different folders for what you want to offer, and so on and so forth. What else we got going on here? Learn about zips. When you push that button, it's gonna take you to the Zimperium website, or it would have if I wasn't disconnected from the Wi-Fi now. I probably got a different MAC address now. It'll take you to the Zimperium website and it will allow you to use their security tools that are that are uh, available on their website. All right, let me get back on. Scan the network again if it ever lets me back on the Wi Fi. Let's see, 10.0.0.1 is going to be my default router, of course. And you, hit, you still have the options listed. Oh, when you scan. I forgot to tell you about this. I always try to put on smart scanning first, and then I go to execute skit or script. If we've got all these protocols with different scripts that we can execute on on the machine that we're trying to attack, we'll pick one at random, like a uh, I don't know, uh, brute. Then we'll go with let's say the Cassandra brute script for scan type. You got all these options, intent scan, intent scan plus UDP, TCP, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure you guys can read. I like to scan all ports, UDP and TCP. And it's going to take a little while to do the scanning, and then it'll show you the results. Oh, that was quick. Scan log. Boom, here we go. All the information that you want. 
that's pretty much it for my tutorial on this app. I hope you guys can enjoy, have enjoyed it. Uh, be safe out there. Don't do anything stupid or illegal. And uh, that's it. Peace out.